in the Vedic cosmology, we speak of seven lokas, seven worlds, seven planes of consciousness. So there is, they are divided into two hemispheres. Lower hemisphere has three, upper hemisphere is three. And then there is something called as link world in between. So the lower three are what we experience, which is the consciousness of matter, life, and mind. Entire system that we have created is a result of that mental consciousness. The upper hemisphere is three who are actually one, which is Sat, Chit, Ananda. Sat is pure existence. Chit is pure consciousness. Ananda is pure bliss. We, the whole aspiration is to bring down that upper hemisphere, which is the divine life, onto the earth life. How will you do that? You have to go through that link world. Link world is what is super mind. What is Vigyanamaya of the Upanishads or the Maharloka of the Veda, right? And that is perfect truth consciousness. The characteristic of that truth consciousness plane is Sri Aurobindo uses three Vedic words to define Satyam, Ritam, Brihat. Satyam is perfect truth. Ritam is perfect, perfect order, right order. And or truth in action. See, truth is there on just absolute plane, but in action when it manifests as truth. And Brihat means wide, vast. So complete vastness, where multiplicity and oneness can coexist. Below, below supermind, they will never coexist. And from mind to supermind, there are many ranges, which Sri Aurobindo goes in detail. But just before below supermind is overmind, which is the plane of gods. So when we are trying to ascend in our consciousness, we are going beyond mind. But you can't skip. Sri Aurobindo's integral yoga is not just about ascending. It's about transformation. So you have to transform the physical and the vital. You have to take them along, which is why it is most difficult or it is most simple. Because it can become most simple path if you can do perfect surrender. To whom? To the mother because she is the one who will hold us as we struggle through the breaking of the pots and the you know converting the breakdown into breakthrough as you said if we can surrender do the perfect surrender so perfection is important on this path because we cannot perfectly surrender so we struggle